This book, um, and I have to say I'm really um, honored and chuffed to be asked to uh, write the FT um, Guide to Management, and it owes its existence to a very, very modern management tool, um, namely LinkedIn. And Nicole Eggleton, who is here tonight, um, put, put her hand up, there she is. She is the FT's um, commissioning editor for their business publications, wrote me on LinkedIn shortly after I joined CMI, a couple months, and said, you know, hello, I'm Nicole Eggleton, would you like to write a book, the FT Guides Management? And I, I looked at this and I thought, is this a hoax? <laughs> um, and, you know, um, uh, but then I thought, well, okay, you know, put yourself in Nicole's shoes. I suppose it's reasonable to expect that somebody who is this chief executive of something called the Chartered Management Institute might actually know something about management. Um, so I thought, okay, fair. And then I reflected on my 25 years of experience with all sorts of firms, large and small, and I thought, well, you know, actually I have oodles of experience on what good management looks like and what bad management looks like, both through observing my own actions and others. And I know the enormous difference um, that it makes. And so I thought, well, actually, um, you know, that's, that's, that's a good thing to do. And um, so, so I decided to do it. Um, now, in, in, in tackling this project, um, um, I, I could have actually uh, decided to reinvent the wheel, but um, I'm much too lazy for that, so I didn't. And um, there's there's really nothing earth-shattering or new in how I've organized this book. I've used um, the CMI uh, outline for national management and leadership qualifications as the guide, um, obviously updating it to reflect our current environment and my experiences. Um, so that's really how the book is organized. Um, but one thing that really struck me as I was writing the book, and it kept occurring to me over and over again, is how stunningly simple and straightforward good management is, and yet how absolutely difficult it is to do. Um, and, you know, if, if you pressed me, I would say there are really four principles that um, have, have constantly um, occurred to me in putting this book together, and, and, and I hope that I've been true to them. Um, and the first of those principles is that management is really all about people. And we so often forget this. We get all caught up in our tasks and our pressures and our to-dos, but it's really all about people. It's about inspiring trust in others, giving them respect and having them respect you. It's about giving them a sense of purpose and achievement um, and um, also uh, giving them autonomy and room to breathe and do what you want to do, what they need to do, rather than you doing it for them. So it's really all about people and not about task, and we so often forget that. The second principle, and it's very related to this, is uh, that management is not about controlling, it's about coaching. And yet, although we know that, um, unfortunately, coaching is the least used management style. Um, so, you know, it's much easier to say, okay, I'll tell you what to do, and then since you're not going to do it right, I'll do it for you. Well, of course, you know, doing that is, is actually a, 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 a real hallmark of bad management. It's controlling management, and it doesn't work very well. We know that. And, you know, you know this stuff as human beings because it's common sense. Um, the third principle, which uh, keeps occurring to me, is... You know, we live in a really complex world, so good management keeps things simple and clear. Um, simple, clear, and obvious. And whether it's your communication, or your strategies, or your objectives, it's got to be really simple and really clear and easily understood. And whenever anything gets complicated, or unclear, or opaque, that's when, you know, the bad management and the disasters happen. Um, and the last principle is, um, in today's world, and you know, we just released some research that affirmed this today, um, it is increasingly about collaboration and partnership. You know, 20 years ago, it was all about co competition and uh, technical prowess and expertise. And increasingly today, it's all about collaboration and partnership in terms of being agile, working together well, um, uh, connecting with other people. And all of those things are things that I've um, tried to reflect in the book. So, 
um, definitely try to um, um, focus a lot on people, so you'll find lots of um, chapters on managing yourself, managing others, coaching, networking, how to m change career. Um, Lord knows I've done that many times. And, um, and you know, that, that is all important. Uh, you'll also, I I've, I've hope I've tried um, to um, uh, include advice on how to coach, how to run meetings, how to lead teams in a way that empowers those teams and doesn't control them. Um, tried really hard to keep it simple and clear. Um, and I've had lots of help from that. And my last point, obviously, this is a hugely collaborative effort. Um, and I do have to make a few thanks. I, I absolutely have to thank Peter Aliff, the CMI's current president. Unfortunately, he can't be here tonight for encouraging me to do this uh, alongside my day job. I have to thank Petra Wilton, our director of strategy and external affairs, who was um, my sounding board, helped scope the book, and bless her, read every version giving me comments and feedback. I have to thank Nick Parker, who today celebrates his 30th anniversary with CMI, which is quite amazing. So I think that deserves a hand of applause. Nick, where are you? <laughs> um, um, now, Nick, Nick and his content team, CMI has one of the best content libraries on management anywhere. Um, and Nick's been responsible for that. And uh, you know, his team's been really leading that effort.